Bacula Enterprise Edition to the rescue. Welcome to the Bacula Enterprise trial. In this short video, we'll show you how to import the OVA that you've downloaded into VirtualBox, boot it up, log in, and then begin using Bacula Enterprise Edition. If you want to run the trial on VMware, the installation process is a little bit different, and this is covered in the trial documentation. Begin by opening VirtualBox and clicking Tools, and then Import. Then browse to the OVA file you downloaded from us, and select it in the window, and click Open. You can then click Continue, review your settings, and if everything looks OK, click Import. You can assign the VM more resources once it's imported. After you click Import, it will take just a few minutes to import the Bacula trial appliance into your VirtualBox instance. Once the import is complete, you can click Start to begin your new Bacula Enterprise trial appliance. The first thing you'll see is a warning, and you'll need to assign the correct hardware adapter for your Ethernet card, and then choose what type of adapter you want it to be. If you'll connect remotely to this machine and want to back up external clients, use a bridged adapter. Otherwise, you can stick with host only. The trial will take just a few minutes to boot up. It expects to find an IP address via DHCP if you're using a bridged adapter, so hopefully you can make this available for your trial network. Once it finishes booting, the terminal should display the IP address that it picked up via DHCP with the instructions to open that IP address in a browser. When you do so, you'll be taken to the Trial Appliance landing page, which has four buttons. There's a link back to the Enterprise Trial Guide, which is the documentation for the entire trial. There's a link to contact support if you're having any issues, one to reset this trial machine back to a pristine state, and finally a link that will take you to BWeb. If you click the BWeb link, it will open a new tab. You will receive a self-signed certificate warning that you will have to accept to proceed. Now log into BWeb with admin, admin as the credentials. From here, you can follow our guided scenarios, either through the text documentation or our videos. And please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions at all. If you're not sure what to do next, have a look at scenario one in the trial guide. Thank you for watching.